guys, welcome back to Art A La Carte and today I'm going to address the question is it a good thing to learn all the art or should you only focus on some of the art? Does that even make sense? Before I get into explaining the thoughts of my mind, I want to give a big thanks to Smart Art Box for sponsoring this channel. For those of you who don't know, Smart Art Box is a monthly art experience box. Every month they choose a theme or an art style and in the box they include art supplies and a project for you to do to kind of give you a taste of what this might be. Sometimes they're super fun, sometimes they're super challenging, and sometimes they're chalk pastels. Which is okay because I don't enjoy them, I don't try them very often, and that's the discussion of today's topic. But first I want to show you what's inside the box. I don't know, I think finding out what's inside art subscription boxes or any kind of subscription box can really help you decide whether or not that subscription box is right for you. Of course the theme for this is chalk pastels and they have enclosed two different kinds of chalk pastels. One are the little bricks or you know, sticks of it, which I, ah, I don't like them because I don't like the way they feel on my fingers and I don't like that they get all over my fingers. So I was happy to see that they also have them in like a pencil form. Along with that, they have a metallic set, which I'm kind of curious to try because supposedly they're also water soluble. So, hmm. Along with these two full packs is probably the coolest pencil sharpener slash eraser thing that I've ever seen. Um, far longer than it should have to figure out how to open it, but it's pretty cool. And last but not least, they sent a tablet of really cool art paper that is black. If you're creating with tone paper or black paper, specifically black paper, then the darkest you get is the darkest of your paper. When you're adding in your colors, you're thinking opposite. Instead of thinking, where can I add color to add shadow? You're thinking, where can I add color to bring highlight? And for me, it just, it's, it's flipped and it just makes my mind go, what am I doing? And I find that kind of fun. Pro tip, if you're trying a brand new art medium for the first time, suggestion that I have is draw something that you are comfortable with. That way you're not learning a new art medium plus learning to draw something really hard. You can just focus on one new thing. So for me there's two things I love to draw and that's eyeballs and horses. Fun fact. So for this first go I decided to draw some beautiful eyeballs. Now in the instructions they recommend that you can blend and smear this using your finger but as I said earlier I don't like chalk pastels or any kind of chalky charcoal things on my fingers. I don't like it. So I went and grabbed a blending stick that I have. I have a huge box of blending sticks. So I took a blending stick and used that and it worked pretty well. But you will see as it progresses, I actually do go and use my finger. I did. And it works fine. So while I am creating this piece, and I actually do two pieces, I do this one and then I decided to go ahead and draw my second favorite thing, which is a horse. I do that. But I want to talk to you guys about learning all the art. See, I'm the kind of person when I find something and I really like it, then I go all in, like with Copic markers. If you watch this channel pre-Copic marker, you will have noticed that most everything that I did that wasn't just a pencil sketch was usually watercolor and colored pencils. Then I got Copic markers and for about a year, maybe two years, that all changed. Anytime I was adding color, it was Copic markers. And then this year I've kind of gone, okay, I've got my Copic marker level to where I want it. Now I'm going to bring back in my color pencils and watercolor and began playing around with it. So you see that along with like digital art and things like that. There's a little bit more variety. If I was to do that with every type of art form out there, for me, I don't know that art would be as much fun. I think it would be a bit overwhelming. So while there are things that I would like to learn how to do, I'm picking and choosing for now which ones I want to focus on. For an example, one of my friends at Comic-Con gave me this knitted, or maybe it's crocheted, see I don't even know what she did to make it, but it was a donut, but it was knitted. I'd show you but it's in my room. So cute. And I've seen other people do them and they can make anything, any kind of creature or character out of these. And I thought, oh, 
I should learn how to do that. And I even went to the store and was looking at yarn and knitting needles or crochet needles because I wasn't even sure what I needed yet. And I thought, I'm going to look on YouTube and learn how to do it. I'll focus on it. Bam! Yeah! And then I said, I have 24 hours in a day. And I am barely getting done what I have to get done with what I know how to do. If I add something else to learn right now, I just might not have enough time to do everything else that I need to do. So even though I really want to learn how to do that, I decided I'm just going to enjoy that art. And then, you know, maybe in a year or two, if I change my mind, I can start working on it. But I don't know. Do you guys think that's a good idea to focus on one or two art mediums to get really good at it? Or do you think it's good to have a different art medium every year to try and, and focus in on? And so one year you're an oil painter and one year you're a clay sculptor and one year you sew and one year you do color pencils. What are you guys' thoughts on that? And, and I'm not talking about trying new things like what I'm doing here with the pastel pencils. I'm talking about like finding an art form and buying all the supplies that you need and really putting, you know, months of effort into this art form. I personally myself want to just focus on the two or three art mediums that I enjoy. Dabble and play with other things, but those are going to be my main focus. I want to be the very best b -b 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 watercolor there ever was. Copic markers I'm gonna collect, so I'll get everyone. Out supplies. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I can't wait to read your guys' thoughts and comments in the comment section below. If you're brand new to my channel, thanks for visiting and you can always hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll know anytime I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see other videos I've created, I have a few different right here that you can take a peek at. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, God bless you guys. We'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.